today on The Real. We welcome back radio star Angela Yee to the table. Listen, you know I love being here. I love Girl Chat. Yes. Oh, oh, and on Girl Chat, the dangers of live streaming. The live apps aren't doing it, the people are. Then, are we too trusting of strangers? It's a girl code. If yeah. you arrive together, you we stay together. together. And Kojo shares his hottest fashion finds for this summer. I am wearing a bikini under here. You yes. Yes. Plus, La Portia Renee is here. And she takes the mic in a real performance. guest co-host you know her from iHeartRadio and Power 105.1's hit morning show The Breakfast Club yes. it's the lovely and talented Angela Yee Listen, you know I love being here. I love girl chat. Oh, yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready for some girl chat? I'm ready. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, now Angela, I am dying to know. You just said you love girl chat. Is it because we're <laughs> girls here and you know you work with guys every day? I, I want to know what is it like working with Charlemagne the God. I know a lot of people want to know, right? Yes. 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 What is he like? Well, just so you guys know, those guys girl chat way more than we do. Just so really? you guys know. Really? Yes, they you do. You mean they gossip more than we do? They absolutely 100% do. Really? Be I believe that. What do but, they gossip about? Yeah. Listen, I, one day I had to just sit back and be like, I feel like I'm a guy in a room with women. They talk about all the rumors. You would think that they don't do that, but no they're way. so much more into it. They're on the blast. Did y'all see this? We have a group chat. Uh -huh. yeah. And that group chat is like me and my girlfriends chatting. No, about, I, I yeah. love it. Wow. <laughs> Always about someone else's business. Right, but you know, <laughs> it is crazy working that you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So right. You never know if somebody's going to be mad about something. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I go out and people are mad at me because something, you know, Charlemagne said. <laughs> uh -huh. People will call you out on the streets? I, listen, I've been to clubs before where people have stopped me and like, you know, had something to say, yo. And I have to clear things up. But I also feel like you have to have his back. Like, we work together, yes. me and Vianne Charlemagne, Dope. just like you guys all have each other's yeah. back, so we have each other's back. So, if you don't like me and you want to fight me, I guess we got to fight. If yeah, you and you don't like Charlemagne. Let me find my girl here, <laughs> She's half Asian. This is my sister. <laughs> yes. Half Asian. I mean, yes. but how do you handle it? Because, I mean, y'all have had, like, some, you know. Beef. Now, we thought we've had moments on this Woo. that we're like, this is awkward. <laughs> I know. You've had, like, real moments. How do you handle things Put like that? Put some respect on my name. Exactly. Right. How, how do you handle that? <laughs> I guess in real life, we all have awkward moments. The only difference is that this is in front of millions of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But those awkward moments are great stories for later. They go viral. So we yeah. did have that Birdman interview that you just referenced. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was two and a half minutes long. I think we could anticipate it. Sometimes when things are about to go left, you feel it in the air. Right. Yeah. Yes. So we okay. saw him outside the studio kind of gearing up and kind of mad, pacing. He came in, didn't say hello to anybody. Wow. Had, you know, four people in there and kind of like... Uh -huh. And I was like, what's about to happen in here? You yeah. Know? So, but the good thing is that Charlemagne doesn't back down, as you yep. can see. Yeah. Yep. And so it's always important to be able to express yourself, even if someone's in front of you or they're not there, you just still have to express yourself. You can't back down yeah. from what you said yes. when they're not in the room. Was That's there right. ever an unexpected... Like a guest who did something unexpectedly, besides Birdman. Like, yeah, it happens all like the time. Like, give us the most surprising guest to you. Hmm, <laughs> surprising guest? You want me to do it for yeah, you? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what's the singer's name? Is she started going off? Oh, yeah, that was a Love and Hip Hop moment, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, which Oh, what was that? Yeah, it was a Love and Hip Hop cameras rolling type of moment. Oh, right. Oh. Like, what like, was it? Oh, the <laughs> it was... 
Keisha Cole? No, it wasn't Keisha Cole. Who was it? <laughs> it was Kay Michelle. Kay it Michelle, Kay that's Michelle. who it was. It was okay. surprising for everybody. Like, the label is like, what's going on? The guys are like, what's happening? But, you know, sometimes you just... My whole thing is this, and this is how I am in real life. Mm -hmm. If you start talking to me crazy, I'm not engaging in that. I'm just not saying anything. And I was just like... And she was, and she handled it so good. And it that's was cool. like, she just let her go, and she was just like... Okay. Yeah, right. You better you know? than me. Yep. And it diffused the situation. I know what happened. Let crazy look crazy. Right. It, well, right. Just don't come up to the show again. That's all. Yeah. I mean, if you have yeah. a problem, don't come. Yeah, that. but it did go viral. Yeah, it did. And listen, uh, and be clear, like, when those happen, we could easily pull the interview. No one will ever see yep. it. But I think it's important to put those things out there. The great moments, the not-so-great moments, things don't go right. We put it all out there. That's important. Yeah. Donkey of the day. <laughs> okay. Paul oh, team. I know folks want to know about this. How does Charlemagne go about choosing Donkey of the Day? And you are ever a part of that. Can you like, explain what Donkey oh, of yes. the Day is oh, yeah. for people who don't <laughs> listen? <laughs> Donkey of the day is a person who does something really stupid, and as he says, they get the credit they deserve for being stupid. So a lot of times, Ooh. donkey of the day, we all know, like, just from what happened in the news, social media, who's going to be the donkey. You can see what the big stories are. Somebody does something yeah. really dumb, and you can say that person's going to get donkey of the day. So that's how we choose it. Sometimes in the room, it's a collaborative effort. Sometimes he already knows. Yeah. But some things are just a given. Like, if somebody does something crazy... They're right. donkey of like the day. they rob a bank and leave their ID or something like yeah. that. Right. You're right. Or like, right. can we all be honest and real right now? Have we all had a donkey of the day moment? Oh, oh I live. You know, I, I live. I've been donkey I'm, of the day, by the way. On the I show? said donkey of the yes. day, yes. For yeah. what? I was like, all right. Uh -oh. I was a little late to work because, you know, it's early. Yeah. But I was in a club the night before and I'm in a club <gasps> tweeting, oh, lyrics, no. songs, having a great time. And I missed the show. <gasps> oh, wait, what? That was donkey-ish, okay? You missed your own job? Yeah, because I was in the club. And it, it she, was no she got secret. got up. But I'm Charlie hanging out with her, man. Wait, had to give but what happened donkey. when you realized that you weren't at work? I mean, were you still in the club, or did you pass out and wake up and go, oh, crap, I'm not at work? <laughs> what Who happened? hasn't overslept? Okay. Oh, sure. okay. We all we all, all over. It's just on the radio. Yeah. It's very obvious. There's no sneaking right. in because yeah. I'm not there. So <laughs> yeah, they don't hear your voice. So. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a donkey. Well, yes. thank you for being <laughs> so open about the show. We yep. love you. Yes. We love the show. We love everybody. Keep it real. And somebody who's hero of the day is basketball star Shaquille O'Neal. He's come forward and offered to pay the funeral costs for a 13-year-old who awesome. accidentally shot himself while broadcasting on Instagram Live. Wow. Malachi Hemphill was handling a gun in his bedroom as friends watched him on the app when he shot himself at his home in Forest Park, Georgia. God, now, oh this God. story hit home with many teens and parents when it comes to the role that social media plays in people's lives and the dangers that come with it. Um, ladies, do you think that the platforms for these streaming apps give people nowadays, it, it, it gives more harm than good? This is such a sad story. I, know. I mean, I obviously, uh, you know, was trying to get more information. Obviously, we don't have the live video of what happened. Yeah. Right. The, the point is that this young boy is no longer here with us, and how sad that is. This really shook me. I couldn't sleep last night just really thinking about this. This has been going on for decades, everybody. It's not just social media. Social media has put the spotlight on it. In fact, in 1964, there was a woman by the name of Kitten Genovese, and 37 people watched her get shot the in front of her effect. New York apartment yes. and said nothing to a cop. They didn't and even yes. alert the police. Right, no right. one called. And the bystander effect study was then proven that the more people there are there, the m less people are um, possibly going to do something. Yeah. Right? What? So then in that 2009, so backwards. in my own state, California, Richmond, California, a 15-year-old girl was gang raped in front of right. 20 people for two and a half hours mm -hmm. and not one person Jesus. said a thing. So the problem is greater than that. It becomes now today, what are we doing? What are Absolutely. we doing as we see things like that? There are so many more cases that has happened on Facebook Live, Instagram Live. Um, so I think part of the solution, again, because I really just prayed about this. I'm like, what, what is there to do? Because it's just so We broken. have to care more about each other. Yes. 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 And, but, and, yes. yes. Number That's one. part of it, right? Um,
I think, first of all, the power of social media is in the most powerful generation right now that understands it better and faster than mm -hmm. most of us here, mm -hmm. is the next generation, the future, the students, the, the kids, right? So I wish that in schools we would implement in, implement in governmental classes, social studies, how long this has been going on and how they need to empower their moral duty as citizens moral. to see something, say something. We all need to have that moral Repeat duty. that, yeah. moral yeah. duty. I yes. want to say something hey, though, about the apps because there is an issue with the apps. The reason why we're on TV, we're on radio, you can't say whatever you want to say on television and radio. It's called standards and practices. Right. Because we have live broadcasts now, you don't have standards right. and practices. Yes. Right. These apps and the companies that have it, they have billions of dollars. They're going to have to find a way to put in some type of standards and practices um, in those operating systems because um, what happened with, uh, with Malachi yeah, was I that he more. was speaking to his followers and somebody, you know, put said... The, put the clip Put the in. clip in, and that's what happened. And, I, right. and, his, mother, and his mother said, to, to your point, yeah. don't monitor just the app, monitor your children. Yes. Yes. Go in, look and see what they're doing, go in their room, search. I have to say, from a mother's you know, point of view, if this is the day and age that we are living in right now, what's gonna be happening when my children you know, get older? What, what are they gonna be doing there? And I agree with you, Lonnie, and I also agree with you too. I think we need to find a middle ground, like there has to be some type of ramification, some type of consequences if you're gonna be doing violent things on you know a uh, uh, live stream, or can we find a way that we can we can control this because it's only going to get worse. And I always like to think of the the solution because if it's mm -hmm. happening now, and like you were saying, like these millennials, this generation, even my son now, my daughter, but she's not even two, she knows how to find PBS Kids on my phone. I'm like, how did you bypass my I'm password? That's right. How did you they do figure, that? They watch. Yes. That's so what I'm saying. They're the so smart. The answer can be so, in social media somehow. So can it be that maybe we should have an age limit? That maybe you need, hey, you need to be 21 and older some type to well, monitor. Maybe that's to I think it, that. some type of monitoring system, like you were saying, Lonnie, like really look, you know, what's going on in the commenting section. And yes, Jeannie, we need someone to actually stand up and say something. If you see something weird, if you see someone say, say put the something. clip in, the other person who's watching it say, no, don't do that. That's dangerous. Yeah. Say yeah. something. Yeah. Facebook has spoken out regarding this issue, saying, and I quote, as a result of this terrible series of events, we are reviewing our reporting flows to be sure people can report yes. videos and other material that violates our standards as easily and quickly as possible. Yeah. You know, yeah. because we have to say, and I want to um, say the 74-year-old man, Robert Godwin, who was shot um, by the crazed man who they finally found him and he's no longer with us. That video stayed up for hours. And Facebook did apologize. Mm -hmm. But the pro that's what we're saying is that there is an issue with the apps because for that type of violence to be on for hours and, and no, no one, one says, you know, yes, but from I that still company, blame it on the people. We got to do better. I we know, have to do I better. Know. We yeah. thought. But yeah, that, why that video we was say able to be captured for hours. Are Hold sick. on. That, that yeah. video yeah. was able to be captured forever. I understand what you're saying. Yes. We, we still have, because this right. has been Both. going on for years. It's just that now we have technology that is going to push it out to more people yes. and we have to catch it I immediately. I do think it's also more. important, I do think it's important to say one thing that they did learn by the bystander um, effect research is that all it took is one person to just stand out yeah. and stand up and do something yes. and then people started to follow. Absolutely. So there's a lesson in yes. that. Right. Yes. Don't what? be afraid. Yes. What? what is the sickness though in us as humans that we enjoy watching because Tragedy. there's good and evil. Why, why do people I know that something like that happens? I and instead of it. turning away, I, let's be honest, when there's an accident on the side of the road, rubbernecking is what? Yeah. That means you want to we'll see, see nosy. what right. happened. You want to, it's why people go on blogs and gossip even, blogs. They want to hear and see the negative things that, 
What we have to start checking our moral compass. We it's have to. We have to. We have yes. to start checking. Why? What is it inside of us that says you want to watch these things? And I strongly feel like in schools, because this is all very new, all the social media, right. all of the streaming, they do need to educate kids yes. on these dangers and on how this can affect your yes. life later on. Yes. Teach, us, teach the kids how to treat each other, learn that at home, and this has to be something that kids learn in school early on. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I also I'm, think laws could change more. Oh, For example, real. today <laughs> there's only 10 states that actually take action on witnesses who see a heinous crime and don't do anything about it. Only 10. Mm -hmm. So we should up that. And also, going back to the good news with what you said, we should continue, like we do on this show, yeah. to celebrate the citizens who do good. Yes. You'll notice on the yes. wheel, we, we travel to other yes. states. We bring money. People should become famous day. because of that and not right. the other dumb things that people are doing. Yes. <laughs> From social media safety to personal safety, two friends tried to get their drunk girlfriend home safely by putting her into a lift and giving the driver her address and apartment key. Wait for it. The lift driver, Trowan Henderson, refused the request, but for very good reason. Check it out. We believe they had great intent. Um, I did deny the request once I found out what it was because my thing is, one, I think that's, um, even though I won't rape or sexually assault this lady, um, I do think that as a friend, that's putting your friend in, in the possibility of great danger. Uh, two, I also had to protect myself because it's like, I don't know, this lady may wake up and she's had a traumatic experience and this could trigger her, you know? It's true. in a car How with a lift it? driver and gave him the key. Who to would do it that makes no friend. sense. So Henderson says he offered for the women's friends to ride along with her. Smart. And that he even offered to cut the fee if they did so. However, the <laughs> ladies refused. Yes. PSA, don't have friends like these people. Right, yeah. right. Find no new call. friends. I can't even. Those are not my friends. <laughs> do you ladies feel that nowadays people need to be more educated and informed about sexual assault awareness? But well, isn't that common sense? Yeah. You would think so. Not that Why common so? these days. Don't put your drunk, passed out friend in a car with a stranger and give him the key. And I mean, it's a brother, too. He was like, nah, I ain't doing yeah. that. Like, I'm not falling for this. Yeah, uh, listen, I have I'm a, not falling for this one. I have a good story for, um, <laughs> for the radio station. We had did a trip, a flyery with our listeners. Mm -hmm. And one of our listeners got so drunk at the pool. So one of the guys that was with Charlamagne, one of his friends had to take her back to her room. Now, we don't know her. But I told him, I said, I'm going to come with you because I want to make sure that nobody can say anything happened. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I went with him, because he had to carry her. She was that drunk. So I got her key. We went, took her to the room. I took a video of us exiting the room. Not of her, but I was like, we are leaving the room right now. She's back in her room. Nothing yes. wrong with her. Right, to, yeah. Yes, because I wanted to make sure that nobody could accuse anybody of anything. Absolutely. That is so yeah. smart. That's good. And sadly, in this day and age, you have to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. But guys, it takes, how long do you think it was going to take them? 20 more minutes out of their day to make sure that this young woman got home safely. Right. It's you supposed also, to be your friend. You got to be careful who you hang sense. out with, man. It's a girl code. Yeah. If you arrive together, you we stay together. together. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, well, that's also, there have been some really bad scenarios that if this happens, some people get, you know, they get murdered or yeah. raped. So my thing is, where were there, where were where were their heads? What were they? FOMO. They were probably they wanted to just play. as they drunk as her, if yeah. we're honest. Right. It might be the blind leading the blind, literally like drunk helping another drunk, and they might not have been thinking straight. It's the only way I could imagine giving a key to a stranger and saying, take my friend home. Right. And right. you know, too, also, people feel like, oh, well, I'm not going to drive. I'm going to take an Uber or a Lyft, and I can get wasted. That does not give no. you permission to get wasted drink because the Uber and you still drink responsibly yeah. Yeah. if you're going to go out, even if you're going to get a ride. Yeah. You just don't put yeah. it on the Uber yeah. driver. Yeah. Do unto others as you would want done to yourself. If you were the passenger in that car, would you want your friends to leave you alone with that man or would you want them to thug it right. out with you for 20 more minutes yes. and make sure you get yeah. home? Yeah. Yeah. Please yeah. Stay thug her, it stay out at with my me. House. You can stay at my house. Stay at my house. We all go together. Yeah. And at the same time, that man... Yo, you're a hero, That's man. That's right. If you're single, holler at me. I got so many girlfriends. <laughs> oh, I was like, where are you on? I know. Like, where is that? Amazing. Like, like, he's he he a brother. He's like, nah, y'all ain't getting me caught up in this today. <laughs> Smart guy. Temperatures are rising, and we've got bathing suits on the brain. We all love a good beach day, right? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 But who wants to waste time changing when it's time to go from the beach to cocktails? Nobody. Today, we're going to show you how to get ready in a snap. This is Bikini to Martini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are so excited.
excited to welcome back to the show celebrity stylist Kojo. Okay, so Kojo, are you ready to take us from the beach to cocktails with friends? Well, you have to, because sometimes you're at the beach mm -hmm. and then you're going right to the party. Yes, Always. Yes. And I have a really big confession to make. You've invited me back. I feel like I'm one of the sisters you now. You are, you are. I am wearing a bikini under here. You yes. Yes. yes! Because I was in a rush. I was surfing. I'm making this up. Uh, it's a leopard bikini. Okay, let's continue. It's a good time. Well, you guys, get ready for this one. Take a look at Daisha. She's having a ball on the beach in this super cute bikini. Now, I love this bright color. It's totally popping on her skin tone. It looks like she's ready, though, for a drink at the Tiki Hut. Ooh, okay. I wonder how she'll cover up. How's she gonna do this? I don't know, girl. We're about uh, to find out. Let's find out with some styling magic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to okay, the go so of summer. I love it. I love right? it. This is how you dress it up. Selfie. This is what you would call the boho girl, the modern hippie. This is such a uh, classic ultimate summer look. The denim shorts, then you have a sheer little cover up. I mean, she could go anywhere. She's yeah. got the cocktail. We're gonna helicopter in like James Franco and take her away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. party in Malibu. Uh, this breathtaking girl, credits, is wearing shorts. They're $58 from Nordstrom. And the lovely sexy cover-up is $39.90 from Zara. Oh, oh my God. God. I love it. I love it. Oh, so and Kojo, Kojo, what I like about this, a plus-size woman can wear this yeah. and look fierce, too. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> it yes. works for everybody. It works for absolutely everybody. I love it. Thank you so much, girl. Just beautiful. Thank you. Oh, she's <laughs> Okay. All right, well, let's see our next look. Cute. Now, how cute is Kasha in this one-piece bathing suit? All right, now. The black color and mesh cutouts are so slimming. <laughs> she looks like she needs a drink, though. It's time to hit the bar. What will she wear? Hmm. Come on, show Come us. On. This, this is called the sophisticated summer lady. Mm. This is very easy. Uh -huh. She's wearing the one piece, but you can turn the one piece into a very trendy bodysuit and a perfect mm -hmm. for summer, very trendy this summer, the floral pant. And then we make it really dressy by adding a sleek heel. And finally, I loaned her the diva hat. <laughs> that is such a diva hat. Beep, so she beep. could go anywhere. She can get smashed. Yep. At any club or with the floral pants, she could go to a country club. Yes. But I, though I would never go to a Would you go to a country club? I would, I would if they're serving alcohol. They Thank wouldn't you let so me much. In. They wouldn't let me in. I love it. All right, serves up for our final look. Kristen is such a beachy babe in this bikini. The metallic Ooh. details are so on trend. Oh, wow, she is definitely over being at the beach. What it beach looks is that? Like she... <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like she is heading this way. Come on out! You know, she is wearing something that I think I've seen before. I think our very own genie superstar has worn this on vacation. It's my favorite wrap dress, you guys, and I'm wearing it everywhere. Oh, oh. TV. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Didn't I Love see that on your Instagram? Yes, yes. Wow. Who wore it better? Battle of the Divas. <laughs> okay, oh. this look, this where we go from a bikini to the party, yes. bikini to martini or, or bikini to maternity, one yes. of those. Oh, um, this is yeah. what I call like the Grecian goddess look. Yes. You can't go wrong in the summer with a wrap dress, summer dress like that. It's so Beyonce on the yacht. Yes. Now, before we go, we got to give it the credit. Yes. It's a bit of a splurge. It's $188, and it's Yumi Kim. Or you can call Jeannie if you're a size and minus she'll zero, <laughs> and she'll yes, lend her. it to you. But they also come in large sizes, so Lonnie, you can wear this Why at are you talking to me, Lonnie? <laughs> All I, I see with, all I see okay. with Lonnie are beachy waves. Yes. I mean, beachy I waves. Love, love it. I love so it. isn't that great? You know what I like about all these looks that we did today? They all really are dressed up yeah. and elevated. Yeah. They're not like some girl like throwing on a towel and going right. to the bar. That's yes. nice. Thank you, sweetie. Give her a hand. Thank you. Yeah. Give us three tips, um, trendy tips for the summer for women. For fashion. Uh, the biggest thing right now is denim. Mm -hmm. Denim, denim, yes. denim. Denim overalls, denim jumpers. Look who's wearing denim. And look who's wearing there denim. You go. Hello. 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 Hello.
Then another thing are stripes, and I'm not, yes. I'm not looking at you. I don't want to be influenced. Another thing are stripes. Stripes are really back, but stripes sometimes are done nautical. They, yes. They're more hip now. Yes. So like a spaghetti stripe. striped dress mm. yes. with, stri with stripes. So stripes really, really big. And the final trend is always, every summer, is kind of a floral, but you want to yes. wear it in a modern way. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to look like Queen Elizabeth and the Queen Mom, Ooh. which is not a bad thing. Uh, right. Uh -oh. Just not the look I'll we're going for. I'll never get back into Canada. I'm Canadian. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. It becomes mumsy yes. when it's too floral. You want right. to wear like a floral mini and then you're dead on. I love Everybody that. give it up to Pozo. Awesome. And girls. let's take another look at our girls. They look great, don't oh, they? Yes. And the drinks do too. Give it up for them, y'all. <laughs> on season 15 of American Idol, where she became a standout favorite and slayed her way to the finale. Uh. Now she just released her debut album called Already Already. Well, we are so ready to welcome her to the show. Please say hello to the beautiful and talented LaPortia Renee. Woo! Now, first of all, congratulations on your first album. Yes. Thank you. Now, the cover art has really special meaning to you. Tell us about it. So, um, I really wanted to, oh, I really wanted to encompass. Yeah, so cute. That's my baby. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to talk about uh, or express all of my insecurities. So, I'm a single mother. I'm a, a survivor of domestic violence. Um, thank you. Uh, I have big poofy hair that everybody's always trying to straighten. <laughs> you know, so I just took everything that I thought would kind of hinder me. I'm a, I'm a full-figured woman. Um, everything that I thought would kind of hinder me from uh, following my dreams and everything, I just wanted to kind of put it out there and be like, this is who I am. I'm I proud of who I am. Uh, I love who I am. So <laughs> and the title. Already, already. What made you make the album the, the title already? Well, already. you know, if if you've been ready for a long time, you ain't got to get ready. So. <laughs> okay. No. Got it. no. Yeah. Um, already, already. Ma mainly, <laughs> just I wanted I wanted people to know that they don't have to necessarily like fit into a box or mm. or a certain perception as to what what you need to look like, what you need to be in order to follow your dreams. Like just as you are, go for it. I love like, you are ready just that. Another thing I gotta tell you, La Portia, that I love is your curves. Your curves are Thank gorgeous. You. Ah. Thank you. So, are there fashion rules out Thank there you. that you like to break? All of them. Ah, <laughs> no please rules. tell us. I don't. So I like stripes. Uh, I'll wear white all day, every day. You know, they say, like, full-figure women aren't supposed to wear white. I yeah, love white. No, we let wear white. white. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, they say, um, now, I, I do have to stop myself from, like, wanting to cut my hair because I love short hair. And uh -huh. they say full-figure women, because of our big face, aren't supposed to have short hair. Who's but who's making I'm, up these things? I know. Uh, you know, um, society. People think just, they know better than you and your own self. I don't, right. right. And I, I do, I mean, I say YOLO. Like, you know, do what you feel. Do, yeah. do what you feel. Yeah. Make it yeah. happy. Do you. Well, you have an adorable two-year-old. She's Thank beautiful. You. What's her name? Nayeli. 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 That's Nayeli. beautiful. It's Hopi Native American for I love you. I love Aww. that. That's sweet. Nayeli. So does she want to be a singer like Mama? Oh, my goodness. Um, she knows every track on the album. She sings. She danced. She, she's the star. I'm the groupie. Oh. <laughs> A video of her singing. Oh no! Yes, you guys have to check it out. Let it out. She said, Mama. Mama. Now, Nia wrote some songs on your album. He did. That's a big deal. How much input did you have? I had a lot of input. I had a lot of creative control. When I first met Neil, all I could think was, 
I saw you on Stomp the Yard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was a little starstruck, but I tried not to show it. And I kind of got sh sh shaken out of that because um, one of the songs, let's see, somebody does, uh, one of the lines in there talks about cheating. It was like, I've been creeping for the last two weeks is what it used to be. And one of the lines said, um, it said a curse word or something. I was like, mm -hmm. so I don't really want to cheat. And I don't want to curse because, you know, my I, my fan base uh, from Idol is really mothers and, and daughters. And I appeal to kids, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think our kids have anything out there. So I'm, I'm like so I had to, you know, break away from uh, being starstruck and be like, Nia, I can you can we change this? Can we compromise? Hey. And he actually was impressed and was like. It's refreshing. I like it. So, oh, you know, wow. he changed so his lyrics. That's awesome. Yeah. But you know who you are as an artist. Right. That's so dope. Right. Well, since this is the real, and we like to give people the opportunity to set records straight. Yeah. Right. Um, a few of your tweets have gotten some backlash, and we'd like to give you the opportunity to clarify it, girl. Right. All right? Now, in March, you tweeted, phobia is a fear. I'm not afraid of homosexuals, nor do I hate them. Right. I respect and love everyone. Right. That was great, you know? Then you responded to a fan. You said, I chose to be heterosexual after being homosexual for two years. Now, people took this as you saying that everybody gets to choose. Exactly. When people ask me a personal question, I answer it in a personal way. I can only speak from the, the, the footsteps and the shoes that I've walked in. We have so many variations that make us who we are. And uh, the reason I even went towards uh, homosexuality at first was because I was raped, I was molested, I was abused. I saw a lot of people around me going through the same thing with men. So I told myself, I'm not going to be with a man, I'm going to be with a woman. And then I just, you know, kind of found my, my spirituality. I found, you know, a, a, a belief system that worked for me. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I actually do want to give, you know, uh, being with men a, another chance. And I didn't, I didn't want those experiences to define any experience that I would, mm -hmm. would have as bad with a man. So I chose to go. But, but that's me. You know, I, I never said that everybody gets to choose. I, I mean, I never said that. I never spoke for anybody but myself. And mm -hmm. I feel like the way society does is they put you, they have these labels, they have these boxes. No one can be in the gray area. And when you're in the gray area and you don't fit, they, t they, you know, they put you in one of those boxes. Mm -hmm. So I have people saying, no, boo, you're bisexual. Well, to be bisexual, I would have to presently be attracted to men and women, and I'm not. So, you know, I, I say just, I say speak for yourself, and I say don't generalize anything. Mm -hmm. Everybody literally has their own walk.